Welcome back. Uh, today I'm doing a bit of a run through, some specs and an install. It's a aluminium flat rack from OKM 4x4. All the fasteners all look pretty good quality. They all look to be stainless steel. The shorter ones, I think they're 15 mil. Spring washer and flat washer go through these brackets here with the nut on the back, which there's no washer on that side because they're these um, lock nut type arrangements that actually bite in and, and grip on. And the ones that go into the roof are the slightly longer ones, same thing, spring washer, but you use the smaller flat washer. And these go through these mounts down into the roof. I'll show you that once I get up there to the install. And these ones are the longer ones, but with the bigger washer, and they go through these cover plates on the outside that go through the uh, through the roof um, roof rack mount, through the roof mount, and into a nut. It does come with a decent quality six mil um, Allen key. Didn't come with a spanner for the other side though. But uh, I'm going to cheat. I've actually got a six mil Allen key bit on a electric Ryobi ratchet, so should be a bit easier and a bit quicker. So the install I'm attempting by myself. First up, you need to take these little plastic covers out. So this is where your um, bolts hide for screwing the roof rack mounts into. So it's got arrows on it. You just push them forward. They're a spring-loaded thing, and they pop out. They got a little steel spring on there. They come out, and then these are. They're a 10 mil. Take those screws out. They do have little rubber washers on them. And this little metal doodad here, that's what holds the clips on. So you take that out, probably give around here a bit of a clean out, any mud and dirt. So now that I've got all six of the uh, bolts out that block off the, the holes for the, where the roof rack mounts go, and just gave them a bit of a clean with some contact cleaner and a rag. First step is to install the brackets that actually go onto the roof. So it's these six brackets here. You need just six rubber gaskets that go between this and the roof and six mil Allen key, which you can use the one provided. I'm going to use it on the um, power ratchet. And you need two for each. So 12 of the longer ones, the, I think they're 20 mil, with one split washer and the small flat washer. So these roof brackets, they go on with the, the large flat side facing towards the outside of the vehicle. That bit there facing towards the centre of the roof. So on like that. You've got your two set screws with your split washer and your small flat washer. So one each through there. One, two, your rubber two bolts in, your rubber gasket that goes on each one, so that goes over those bolts. And these are adjustable, so those slots there, these adjust back and forth. So you want to leave them just nipped up until you make sure everything's lined up. So what I want to do is get the ones on the roof tight and they've got to be centered. So each of them, the center line of the bracket on the roof needs to be in the center line of these. So I'm just going to measure center to center on these. I'm going to check those measurements up on the car and then I'm going to do them up tight so they'll be done. Let's do that and I'll show you the next one. So a little trick to find centers. I want to find the center of this whole bracket here between the slots. So I'm going to measure from the outside of that. Measure from the outside. So th this part here. Measure from the outside of that edge to the inside of that edge. So there, 483 to the inside of that, which gives me center to center. So if I hold that on the center there, and hold that on the center there, you can see that matches, that's 483, so it's the easy way to do it. 
So these back ones here are 483 between the centers of these brackets and 855. 855 going on 856 for those two. I'll use 855. So write that down on there. Back 483 center, front 855 center. Now I'm going to measure those brackets on the roof and set those at those measurements and lock them down. Next up, I'm going to put all the L brackets onto the roof brackets, and then the rack will go on where it wants to go on, and you can just center that. So, yeah, let's put all the L brackets on there. You need the longer screws, the 20 mils. So you need these cover plates. They've got a weird angle too, which they don't explain to you. One angle is a pretty tight radius, and the other one has got a fair chamfer on it. From what I can see, the long sharp one like that that sharp one goes down towards the roof line because it clears the roof a bit easier so put them on that way and you use the longer set screw the 20 mils with a spring washer the big diameter flat washer and one nut on the back so let's get all six brackets on the roof and then throw the actual roof rack back on and throw all the bolts in for that should be pretty easy I've got the racks thrown up on top, just in there loosely, and all the slots appear to line up. So now I'm just going to go around, throw all the 15mm bolts in with a spring washer and a flat washer, and the lock nut on the back. So I'll go do them all loosely, and then we'll go and jiggle it and make sure it sits um, so it's not pulling when I tighten it down. Oh no, riff rack's all on. Now to center it, you nip these all up finger tight so they're all in a uniform position. The holes for these are the back two. The bolts go through the two inner slots on both of those. And on the front one, you need to go through the two outers like that to get them to sit right. And then to get the whole lot centered, You can probably see up under here where the end of your bracket is, where the end of the L bracket is, and the end of the pad that it goes onto. You can feel out that measurement there. You don't like it doesn't need to be exact, so you can just feel oh yeah that's 20 mil. Check the other side if that's 20 mil, then that's the same, and do the same with the back one, and then the whole lot should be centered enough that it's going to look square. Once you got that done, go around rattle all these down. I try to move them in the slots and have enough play so you can see if it's over here I can't get to it with the the uh, allen key in the impact gun. If I slide it over here then I can get to it easy so these might be staggered so you can get to that one there, get to that one there, get to that one there so move them while they're loose to where you can get to them. Makes it easy to rattle them down. So yeah let's get that done and then show you the finished product.
All right, finished product. It was so much easier to do it that way. But yeah, aluminium rack, rock solid. Looks pretty good. If you fit it that way, it's heaps easier. So on these, at the back, you've got, you've got two holes on each of these brackets. On the back ones, you put the bolt through the top hole, so it's low. Same with the middle one, the middle one goes through the top hole, and then the front one goes through the bottom hole, because you can see the roof rakes down a little bit there, so it accounts for that angle. Job done. Time for a beer.